Silas, so, really fun to come and see you. And very nice to be here. We have <laughs> we have profiteroles for lunch. I put two on my bowl, <laughs> and you put five on yours. Yeah. <laughs> so I added three more. Have you have you had them all? I have five as well. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, good. yeah it's good. Very good. nice. So thanks for having me. Come to hear a bit about um, prayer and how it's been developing uh, at Maze Green Farm. So can you can you tell us about Maze Green Farm and prayer? Yeah. Well, um, basically, we've got here we've got a, uh, an initial prayer room that we've always had, which I love. So the idea of people coming out here to to pray or coming out and sometimes they might be wanting to seek the Lord on something in particular. And what I love doing is um, giving them the space to do, do that. But also I ask them, what is it that you want, uh, you're praying about or something? And then I, I like praying for them before they start. And then at the end, however they're here for a day or half a day or maybe even two days, then just interact with them a bit and say, how's it going and what's the Lord been showing you? So I kind of like doing that um, because it's amazing to see how God is speaking to each individual, helping them with vision. I love doing that, all that sort of thing. Not whether they think I've helped them with vision, I don't know. I might have just confused them. <laughs> but, but I love that. And so Maze Green Farm is a place for that. Awesome. And you haven't yet got your Abbott's haircut, but you're... Uh, well, wow. uh, no, but I've, I've, look, I've got that back. Look, <laughs> okay, yeah, you're working. That's, yeah, Glad working to see very hard. Going in the right direction. Yeah. So that's um, that's people coming out here to have a place of prayer, a place yeah. of retreat. Yeah. And, um, and there's some ministry within that as well sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We actually have some, uh, quite a few church leaders are coming. Really like that. Um, and on the ministry side, um, I've become re a real big fan of Big Green Heart. Um, and, which actually is a ministry started by, by my sister and it's giving people the opportunity to uh, be, well, be ministered to actually see what's, what they're carrying on their heart and, and uh, well anyway, I don't need to go into the details of it but I'm, I'm beginning to roll that out more and more and offer people big green heart sessions and actually we also want to potentially do that uh, in hope itself, because it, it, the lovely prayer, little um, prayer sheds on the balcony, I think would be would be fantastic to potentially have those for people to have a, a sort of big green heart session there. Great. So, how, uh, so Mage Green Farm is a place of intercession and kind of retreat. People coming here to pray. Yeah. Secondly, the uh, prayer ministry and ministering to people both here at Mage Green Farm and also at Hope Chapel. Yeah. And then the third strand I'd love to hear about would be uh, Tuesdays. Isn't oh, it? Tuesdays. <laughs> Every week, Tuesday, 10 till 1, we have a uh, basically a three-hour sort of... It's not just a prayer meeting. It's, 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 it's a sort of fellowship of people who've um, from all around the region, literally very, very regional, Brist Bristol region, not just uh, central Bristol, uh, the people as far as far out of, well here I'm in uh, Hewish then we've got people in Yatton, in Nailsey, uh, Downend, Wick, Whitchurch, Clevedon, Portishead, Thornbury. It's incredible. It's, it's a regional thing and we get together and we, we talk about what the Lord's been doing but we pray a lot and, and what's really exciting I think is a sense of God has placed people all around our region who are passionate about praying mm. and and uh, and for their communities they're all in different different places it's so cool and we're seeing seeing how the kingdom of God is sort of breaking out in all these uh, uh, in all these places and three hours every Tuesday and then once a month, we are in person in Hope. That's usually, the, that's the first Tuesday of the month. And that's, we have five hours then. Um, and that's really cool. I mean, the, obviously, because of lockdown, that's how it, it, how it happened. We mm. went on to Zoom and then it, it works fantastically. So one of the things I really love about these Tuesday mornings in person is the connection between um, praying and then having musicians uh, in the room at the same time. So we've got a fantastic cellist and flute player and then um, also a, a amazing vocalists. And they go around and are just singing and playing 
And in that sort of context, in that atmosphere, then uh, people are being prayed for, etc. And we get people in from around the city, people doing inspiring projects and things. And we get them to come in and, and for like, you know, half an hour, tell us a little bit about what they're doing. And then we pray for them, listen to the Lord for them, send them off with some, uh, hopefully some prophetic words that, that, that are helpful rather than appalling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so it's amazing. I love that. And we eat together. Um, and so that's a bit of a highlight. Once a month doing that. Brilliant. Thanks, Silas. Pleasure. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. By the way, we've had profiteroles. Did you have cream? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll send you home with a little bit more. Okay, thank you. <laughs>